Hey guys, Jason here with Quantum Courses, and in this tutorial, we'll be going over how to use your smartphone to create amazing t-shirt designs with the Canva mobile app. But before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notifications bell so you'll get notified each time I release a new tutorial. If you need an easy and fast way to create high quality, eye-catching t-shirt designs on your smartphone, then the Canva mobile app is exactly what you're looking for. With the Canva mobile app, all of the powerful tools, images, and elements that we love on the Canva website are available to you right on your smartphone. In this Canva t-shirt design tutorial, you'll follow along as I go through the entire process of creating a brand new t-shirt design using the Canva mobile app. This will include how to download the Canva mobile app, easily create a t-shirt design using the Canva tools and elements, how to export your design with a transparent background to add to your t-shirts and other products, and much more. Not only will we review the Canva t-shirt design templates, but also the font combination templates, the elements library, and even how to upload your own image and remove the background to use as a part of your t-shirt design. But in order to access all of the Canva design elements, the background remover, and to export your t-shirt design with a transparent background, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. To give Canva Pro a try for free, click the link in the video description or head over to jasongandy.org and click the Unlock Canva Pro button. So now that you've signed up to Canva Pro, let's go over how to make t-shirt designs on your smartphone. The first thing we're going to go over is how to download the Canva mobile app. So go ahead and pull out your smartphone and go to your app store where you download your mobile applications. From the app store, let's go over to the search tab and search for Canva. When you pull up your search results, you may see an ad at the top, but we're looking for the Canva app, which is the app here with the blue icon and the Canva logo. Here's where you can download the Canva app to easily create t-shirt designs on your smartphone. If you haven't already, go ahead and download the app. Once the app has been downloaded to your smartphone, go ahead and click the icon to open up Canva. If this is your first time using the Canva mobile app, make sure you log in with the user credentials that you signed up for Canva Pro with. This will allow you to access all the Canva templates, elements, the background remover, and all the other tools that'll be needed to create your t-shirt design. So now that you're logged in, let's start by creating our template with the correct dimensions for our t-shirt design. From the home page, Go ahead and look at the bottom right of the screen and click the little round blue icon here. This should open up a ton of different options for you to select to create your new design on Canva. Since we're creating a t-shirt design, let's select the option that says t-shirt with the dimensions of 14 by 18 inches. When you select the t-shirts option, the first thing you'll be taken to is the Canva t-shirt design templates. Here you have the option to browse through tons of different t-shirt design templates that you can select and use for your t-shirt design. But in order to access all the templates, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. Feel free to check out the templates, but for my design, I'm gonna start from scratch. So here's the design editor on the Canva mobile app. As you can see, it's very similar to the design editor on the actual Canva website. So now let's go over how to create my example t-shirt design. The first thing I typically like to do is add my text. To add text or other elements to your template, go ahead and click the blue icon down here at the bottom left. This will open up a menu where you can access all the Canva t-shirt design templates, access tons of images and graphics in the Canva elements library, access your camera roll to upload your own images, and tons more. But for now, let's just click the tab here to add some text to my template. When you click the text icon, You'll be taken to a menu where you can select to add a heading to your template or scroll down to view the various font combinations. Canva has dozens of really cool pre-made font combinations that you can customize to use for your design. They have a few free combinations, but to access all the font combinations, you'll need a Canva Pro account. So for my example design, let's just select this font combination here. When you select your font combination, it should automatically be added to your template. For the t-shirt design I want to create, I actually want my text to be white and the t-shirt itself to be black. So first, let's change my text color to white by selecting the text, then go down to the bottom menu here and find the tab that says color. Here you can change your selected text to any color that you wish. For my text, let's select white. Since I want my template to simulate a black t-shirt, let's also change my background to black. To do this, 
Make sure you have your background selected, then go down to the bottom menu, click on color, and select the background color you wish to change your template to. And voila, my text has reappeared on my template. Now that I can actually see my text, let's change it to what I want my design to say. This font combination is actually three different text elements grouped together. I'm simply gonna select each line of text and type in my design text. With the text elements grouped together, the size and location may not be exactly right with the text that you wanna add. So while creating the design, let's go ahead and ungroup the elements. To do this, make sure you have the font combination selected, then go down to the bottom menu and find the ungroup icon. This will ungroup all the selected text elements so you can edit them individually. So now let's change all my text and resize and rearrange all my text elements on my template. To resize your text, you can simply drag the corners and to rearrange your text, simply click and drag it to the correct location. If you like, you can also select your text element and use the menu at the bottom to adjust your font size and add other options as well. So for my design, my text now reads, let the beat drop. So now that I've added my text, let's add an image to my design as well. There are several ways to add images and graphics to your design, but let's start out by going over how to use the Canva Elements Library. To access the Elements Library, go ahead and click the round blue icon at the bottom left. From the menu at the bottom, scroll over until you see a tab that says Elements. Go ahead and click that now. This will open up the Canva Elements Library where you can search through tons of different photos, graphics, videos, shapes, and tons of other elements. So for my t-shirt design, let's scroll back up to the top and go to the search bar and search for beats. When I search for the word beats, it should pull up tons of different images, graphics, photos, and other elements that are related to that specific keyword. But for my t-shirt design, I'm only interested in the graphics, so let's select the graphics tab at the top here. Now your search results should only show the graphics that are related to your keyword. As you can see, no matter what you search for in the Canva library, they'll likely have tons of different elements and graphics that you can use to create your t-shirt design. They have some free elements available, but to access all the photos, images, graphics, and other elements, you'll need to have a Canva Pro account. So as an example, let's just select this cool looking beat graphic here. Once you select a graphic, it should then be added to your template. You can then resize, rearrange, and adjust your element any way you like to create your t-shirt design. But using graphics in the Canva Elements library is only one way you can add images to your t-shirt design. If you like, you can actually upload your own image to Canva to use. So let's delete this beat graphic here and go over how to upload and use my own image for my design. To upload an image, let's go back to the editing menu by clicking the blue round icon at the bottom left. Now let's look at the bottom menu and go to the Uploads tab. Here's where you can upload new images directly from your smartphone camera and view all the previous images you've uploaded as well. So let's click the Upload Media button, then click on Photo Library to access my camera photos. I can then find the photo I want to add, then click it to upload it to Canva. Once your image finishes uploading, go ahead and select it to add it to your template. There we go. Let's move my image up a bit so it's not directly behind my text. So here's the new image I uploaded from my smartphone to use for my t-shirt design. I really like the image of the beat, but I gotta get rid of the background. Luckily, Canva provides us with an easy to use background remover tool to easily remove the background from your images. To access the background remover tool, make sure you have your image selected, then go down to the bottom menu and click on the effects tab. From the effects tab, the first icon you see should be the BG Remover, which stands for Background Remover. Go ahead and click that and watch the magic happen. And voila, we've removed the background with a single click. The Background Remover is a must-have tool for designers and print-on-demand sellers, but in order to access the Background Remover, you're gonna need a Canva Pro account. So now that I've removed the background from my image, let's resize and rearrange it on my template. I think this design's starting to look pretty good. But to spice it up a bit, I think I'll head back over to the Elements Library and add a few more graphics to my design. For my Let the Beat Drop t-shirt design, I think I'll add a few musical notes and see how that looks. There we go. Not bad. For my text, I think I'll add a little contrast by changing the color of the bottom line. Simply select the text element, 
and use the menu at the bottom to select the color for your text. And if you wanted to enhance your text even more, you can select the text element you want to edit, then go to the effects tab at the bottom menu, and you can browse through some really cool style effects that can really make your text pop. You can add effects like a text shadow, a neon glow, a glitch effect, a hollow effect, and tons more. For my middle text element, I think I'll add the echo effect. When you select a new text style, you'll see some settings that you can also adjust as well. For the echo effect, I can adjust the offset, the distance, and the color. I think I'll change the color of my echo to red to match the rest of my design. There we go. I think my text looks a lot more eye-catching now. Feel free to add even more text, graphics, or other elements, but for my design, I think I'm gonna roll with this. In order to add your design to t-shirts or other products, you're gonna need to download your design with a transparent background. If you don't, the colored square background on your template will also show up on your design as well. So let's go over how to export your design with transparency. If you look up at the top right of your screen, you should see the share icon. Go ahead and click that now. This will open up a new menu giving you several options to export your design. From the menu here, go ahead and click on download. This will open up your download settings where you can select your file type, adjust your image size, and select to download your image with a transparent background. Under file type, make sure you have PNG selected. For my size, I typically like to use the slider here to increase my size to at least 3000 pixels. This will make sure my design doesn't look pixelated when I add it to products on various platforms. And finally, make sure you click the checkbox here to download your design with a transparent background. But remember, in order to download your design with a transparent background, you're gonna need a Canva Pro account. If you haven't already, go ahead and click the link in the video description to access the free trial of Canva Pro, or head over to jasongandy.org and click the Unlock Canva Pro button. Once you sign up for Canva Pro, You'll not only be able to export your design with a transparent background, but also access the background remover tool, thousands of pre-made t-shirt design templates, premium graphics, and tons of other tools and features to help you grow your business. So now that I've selected to export my design with a transparent background, let's go ahead and click the download button. Your new design will then be downloaded to your smartphone and saved to your camera roll. You can now take your new design and add it to your t-shirts or other items to create some amazing products for your print-on-demand store. So that's a quick overview of how to use the Canva mobile app to create some amazing t-shirt designs on your smartphone. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.